Good morning folks. Today we're going to start a project that uh, combines beekeeping and metalworking. This is a one of our racks that I've made a couple years ago and today we're going to make three more. One of the unique features about this rack is down under here. I don't know if you can see that very well. That is a, uh, call, for lack of a better word, a moat around that post that uh, keeps any kind of ant from crawling up. They keep filled with water and the ants can't cross it. And a few other insects that are... Uh, making bees lives miserable it's like they're all in there running around doing their thing got to replace that bottom box over there but we'll wait till we pull off the uh, honey this year well I got a few of them missing with me so I'm gonna have to back off don't ever run from bees. Don't wave your hands at them. Just slowly walk away. I see some of the flowers we have out in our field right around here. The blue bonnets you can see out there. Go we'll find some blue bonnets for you. See that bee left me alone finally. Blue bonnets are past their prime right now. The whole field is covered with them out there, but the grass has grown up so high you can't see it. Unfortunately, bees don't get any pollen or anything from blue bonnets. But the plant that's coming up right now is going to be my main honey crop. That's lemon bee balm. And hopefully this year we have a good crop. I've had enough rain. Let's go look for some material. Well, this is part of my stash of material. We removed a lot of this out of the shop for the scraping class and I don't know if I see much of anything I want to use out of that pile. Maybe odds and ends, but a lot of it's good. I do have some other stuff over here. Let's see. Metal's one of those things that I very rarely throw any part of away. Let's see. How much in that pile? I think I'm going to end up using what I have over here. That looks like two and a half by two and a half. And then a three inch pipe or two and a half inch pipe. Don't know if that's going to be enough. I need to have six eight foot pieces and six four foot pieces. I could use that square tubing for the top rails. And I can use some of that round pipe for the legs. I need something to make a moat around it though. Hmm. With square legs, I can use some of this here. I hate to use that big round pipe because I'm going to be building a new fence gate for myself. Next thing we're going to build out here is a rack for all this material. I saw one I liked up at the SV Seeker project and we're going to copy that one. Anybody needs a good diesel tank toolbox for your, your uh, pickup, 
and sold my uh, fifth wheel. I took this out of my truck. It's one of those ones that fit below the rail. Let's see. Well, that's not quite large enough. We've got one more place we can go look. Actually, I have three or four, but I know there's other places that don't have anything. There's how the pond's looking after I put the um, ceiling in it. We've had a lot of rain, but that's as high as I've had it in years. So, hopefully, that'll be a good start to getting it sealed. Let's see what we got in this pile. Not much. Gave my friend a lot of the steel I had over here. I hadn't used it in years. My wife says I'm to clean up all that mess and I guess she's right. Let's go look inside and see if I got anything. Well, we'll go through here. Oh, I just got this in the mail. This is one of those new Acorn CNC boards. Uh, we're going to retrofit that into the router upcoming project. Let's see. Well, nothing over here. plastic who put that here I have a problem my CNC router is going to use a lot of the material you see in this stack so we need to get on the ball and make that and then I can build some more racks up in here and see if we can find something we can use Ideally, I'm looking for a piece of ground that can uh, be used. There's some big feet. Those are all feet from a router table. Can't use those. only have to have about three quarters of an inch for the moat. The bees won't go over that. Of course I could lay down a chain across it but they won't do it for that. All right let's go look somewhere else. That'd be kind of overkill. Metal, 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 metal. I know there's nothing up there because that part of the shop's pretty well organized now. What's this? Hmm. That is a piece of four inch schedule 40 pipe. You have to do some measuring, but I think that's what we use. All right. I'm going to hide you guys over here out of the wind. I don't know how much this dead cat on my microphone helps, but uh, at least you can see what I'm doing. Dewalt. Uh, metal saw Those pieces of pipe over there three inch pipe, and then we have some uh, 
two and a half inch square tubing that are 24 foot long. I'm going to cut those 24 footers into three eight footers and then four foot for the pipe. Got him working on the saw now. I love this little saw. It cuts faster than I'd ever imagined it could. And uh, the only drawback is it spits chips everywhere. Well, there is another drawback. The saw blades are really expensive. I can buy four band saw blades for my horizontal saw, is that one. But my horizontal band saw can't cut it that fast. Thought of another one. Old guys like me don't like to get down on the ground. My horizontal's up two and a half feet. Just that quick. Now, I'm going to cut that three inch pipe up. This is all new equipment, uh, new metal, but uh, sit outside in the dirt for a while. I'm going to have to wire brush it. One way to skin a cat.
you can't bring the mountain. Much better. Much better. And I did notice that not a single one of you offered to help me. And I don't accept social distancing as a reason not an acceptable excuse. Got a little bit of it down. Gonna need some of this too. Okay. Now this project isn't rocket science. It's basically two eight-foot runners separated by a cross member and a post going in the ground with a little ant cup on the bottom. I want my outside to outside spacing for the top rails to be 18 inches so that they uh, support those bee boxes well. So they're two and a half thick material. I need 18 inches so we're going to cut six pieces 13 inches out of this uh, scrap. Looks like two by three. Now I want this one to be somewhat uniform so I'm going to cut one and use it as a template. Now my old soapstone is kind of blunt. So I'm just going to use this to sharpen it and get a better point. See the point there? This doesn't have to be exact. What I've done is I've cut away the line and I marked it from both ends of my material so that I could just do two at one time.
All right. That's almost all the material we need to make these three benches. Now, I put an ant trap on each leg. And all an ant trap is, is a piece of material. It can be round, it can be square, that goes around.